Ten seconds remaining. Enigma. Oh, Sentry's just out of range of dubs. Yep. It's right on the corner. Like it's difficult with the with the ward cosmetic to work out the exact spot, but that has to be right on the edge. If it was any further up north, it, it would have been visible. First blood. Hey! Sorry. Just some auto attacks. That was kind of do a fair chunk of damage. Or a dagger him and do fair chunk of damage. Crystal's had a decent time on top lane. Ooh, FNG's gotta game. be careful here. I think he's just dead, actually, to like one more right click. But oh, the mana, the mana burn from the cogs! Oh. FN actually is gonna be turned on! And FNG, FNG gets denied. denied! Oh my goodness, Wait. that uphill miss. Oh, no. D Ward's the one that was on the bottom side with the sentry ward in the mid lane, and now he's the one. On the they side. need the sun to connect the blink forward, a baited SF to stick around, and they just go straight in for the black nice. hole. Vance goes to the neighborhood, frostbite, he'll actually do it onto the sand king. Not the enigma, it was already too late to really cancel yeah, the effect. Alright, TP support's coming in. So this is the other, other indicator if you're paying attention, right? Now, FN jumping forward, Bristlebacks, the one being initiated on. They can't go for a straight press of the Dark Lord, maybe inside the cut, the tree line. That'll work. Iceberg does let it rip, and the hook shot this time from FNG hits the mark and the double fissure. Enigma, the shortest black hole ever. Chappie even getting pushed back out. The Echo Slam, that's uh, absolutely nothing. It was completely. Chappie to the right, and you've got Maposhka to the left. Maposhka actually able to get the cold feet out on the Earthshaker, trying to hunt in the tree lines. A quick rocket, the Rage is too far away for Iceberg to connect on Chappie, but Maposhka under the tree line, under his tier 2 tower, will end up falling. FNG stole, it up. FNG stole the double damage route. Looking for a target. One to get Sean. Chappie, he actually do he dodged around, triggers the drum charge. Van score. Rocket to scout the trees, they're keeping their eyes out for the SK. They don't want to let him just have an easy position. I'm also expecting some kind of sentry ward. Okay, blink, borrow, bristle back. It's just chip damage on him. Aegis has still got a little bit longer left on it. Can be probably if he gets stunned by the cold feet. You know, it is 3.5 seconds where they can kind of like set up around. But they do need the blink deck on the initial where they really want to go. There's your Burrow Strike again, catching out the Bristleback. A lot of damage being stolen with a fear shot. They're going to hook in. Echo Slam is perfect. Ice Blast and Sonic Wave, however, also just as good. Team Spirit trying to recover the epicenter from Roger. Doing some damage and some nice slow. Iceberg did BKB to protect himself. The Shadow Fiend. Yeah, he's 15,000 health. Yeah, this is this is 25 minutes in. The Burrow Strike, a little bit of a missed uh -oh, target. Roger. The Force Stuff forced him in further. They didn't see the Sentry Ward on the ground. He thought he was safe inside the sandstorm, but the sentry is barely outside the range of the tower. Reveal. So here they come in. You got Iceberg with evasion. You got Bristleback. Who forced that? Also with evasion. Was it the clockwork? I think it was the clockwork. FNG and he's forced up. Iceberg. Oh, it's a double kill now for the Shadow Fiend. They're looking for more space. They're going to get it. Buyback was used by the Sand King. FN's dead for 40 though. They bring him down very quickly. There's still no Sonic oh, Wave they got, online. They got rid of the Radiant Sentry Ward. Oh, they the know Rocket the with the still Fisher. Bad. That's just... <laughs> Team Spirit are perfectly range harassing this out. No matter how much damage Chappie steals, he can't put it into any other hero. And Chappie already burning the second shrine. They've only got one more shrine. It's too far away to be of any real effect. Ice Blast moving forward. Won't hit on any heroes. Only the chilling effect. But Furry Boss hits the Echo Slam. Follow up Fisher. Now your Black Hole. Spin him around. Three on the merry-go-round. Russell back. He'll fall down as well. That's what Empire really desperately needed. A big play from Ghostic. And he got the three big ones after the Echo Slam was done. You'll lose your SK, but you don't give a crap. And he'll join the fray. He's easy. Like he's looking further ahead. He's going for a radiant to his next item. Oh, the oh, force from FNG. FNG. They use two of them. Faux boss as well, teaming up. So Chappie using his BKB. FN trying to get rid of that crystal maiden. Thanks to the orchid, she should eventually pop. In fact, does do so. Back inside the mid lane. Chappie escaping from Iceberg's BKB SF. And the Earth Shaker. Team Spirit are forcing the issue. They still could have potentially taken Shrine, but they're, they're sticking with this. I mean, they know that the whole black hole's still down. They want to get seconds. a Rex off of it. 70 seconds. And the Blink Dagger's now finished on the Enigma. You have Echo Slam from Phobos. Level 2. Level 2 Echo. Chappie has to be careful. His BKB's on cooldown. Yep. Forest Strike. 
Catching out the Bristol back. Roger a little bit too deep now. Chappie. Oh, Ghostic blinks in with a BKB. And he's actually baiting it. He's like, guys, you may think I don't have Black Hole, but I'm going to make you react like I do. And they instantly split up and left the Bristol back alone. Shadow Did he? He's the one in this game. Fire strike, Roger, not getting the target he wanted to, battery assault, pulls him out now, and uh, well, it's a quick orchid, they four staff him down, so FNG may have to give up his life for this one, a quick hook shot, Echo Slam, okay, that's even nicer, Chappie and Maposhka fighting underneath their own shrine, the Iceberg will go on top of the Shadow Fiend, feeding into Chappie, and he doesn't have enough life to survive, SF will fall, his death only he doesn't get anything, and FN into a second round of Orchid. Looking to kill off the Crystal Maiden, thanks to Phobos's fidget though. Vanscore will have enough space, from and Roger. the Shrines connect beautifully in both FNG, but Echo Slam from Phobos, the control, but here's your Black Hole! Catching two of them, the hook shot, FNG just goes into the hole, combining with the Sonic Wave! Team Spirit, lose hope, you just got Shrekt! Keep on running out of there, SF, go So, Tier 2 Tower will go the way of Team Empire, Ice Blast. It does clip these easy, and now Midnight Pulse as well. It's not healthy enough to stand inside the pit. Ghostic does burn his BKB. He keeps doing this. He's trying to play the intimidation game. His BKB is out of six seconds because of this. I think he got scared. The Urshigar went to fish him, so he was a bit right. afraid of that Chappie, one. Chappie, you're a little bit far out. Pro boss with a great fissure block. Chappie left to BKB himself. Hasn't started up the static link just yet. Looking towards the Earthshaker. Just wants to run away from this fight. The dust is out. Roger, keep running away. Maybe he has a bar start to create space. He does. FN gets the bottom tower during all this. He's, He's actually, actually beating racks. the team. What? Oh, boy. They're, they're just buying space there. They have a cat the catapult with the creep wave. Oh, no, there's a new one going to spawn up, but the catapult will keep going. Four staffs, FNG. Burning off just a little bit of mana. They wanted the double four star, but Phobos was just out of range for his four star to work. They're just standing at opposite sides looking at each other. <laughs> Showdown, forest strike in. SF, can they kill him for the big AP? Echo Slam for Phobos. It doesn't stop Chappie, and here's Ghosting. The black hole's out once more. Bristleback is locked in. Ice Blast up. They'll lose two here, Team Spirit. Just great initiation from Team Empire. How much farm that he's got through this game, or she's got another Queen of Pain. He's got, he's so durable. Like, he's got 20. Very problematic for them to actually bring her down. As well as with Chap. Chappie's sitting at 3,000. Oh, Van Score, Ghostic, that's too much damage. He'll have to commit the Black Hole, but it works. CM and Shadow Fiend both caught in it. Van Score will die. Not quite certain what Iceberg wanted to do there. Right now at this point, they pretty much have to just blow every ability up on somebody if they do want to try to get a pick up when they're split up. And that's what they, they might actually do. They might be able to get FN here if they do see him with the Echo. If they can't catch him, they're going to get Maposhka, but the Gem of True Sight revealed Phobos. He ran down under the cover, hookshot four from FNG. The Sonic Wave, it does do a hell of a lot of damage to FNG, and FN just goes in. He's got extra help arriving. The Burrow Strike, however, catching him out. Iceberg hit by the ball. Oh, okay, oh, no. uh, CM. Solo black hole, but don't worry. There's more where that came from. Refresher forward with the Malifus stun. Shadow Fiend just can't run. There's no more BKB to protect him. Earthshaker will die, and this is pretty much the game right now. You've lost too many heroes. It's a glory black hole at the end. The buyback can come in from the Bristleback. You may have it from your other cores, and the Echo Slam may be available, but it's too much to repel. Yeah, it's, it's way too much right now that Empire has. You see how confident FN feels. Well, it's blinking into four heroes. They should double buyback. Bristol got initiated on. Just jumped straight at the Orchid on the, on the Earthshaker, so we can't jump in an Echo Slam. God, it's so ridiculous that BKB is a 30 second cooldown on Enigma. Just used it, it's back up again. Hookshot, FNG goes in, the virus strike, catching at the bristle back. Echo slam! Nice from Phobos. Fish your follow-up. They may just have enough damage. No, 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 no. Delusions of grandeur. <laughs> uh, Empire. They have the GG call out from Team Spirit. <laughs> <laughs> it was a pretty legit echo and echo slam and combo, but yeah, this Queen of Pain is just way too strong at this point. Go stick with some Mirana. You know, I thought Phobos was actually in the lane still, so at first I thought Phobos could get brought down, but yeah, nice little jukes in the tree line, gets south up. Mid lane is where the first one is going to be, Iceberg. Oh, the attack! 
still live. He's on 12 HP. The attack from Chappy just manages to reach him, but he's still underneath the tower. Vanscore keeping Chappy down. Yeah. Does he take the macro pyre level? I think he should. Nope. He's 3-3. Three, three. Three. Oh, 3-0-3. Three, three. So he's just trying to push the wave thing. Just nuke the puck. Puck actually dodged this. Um, he did. Well, oh, bottom lane. Should be watching the dive. Fire strike up from FNG, so it's a 1 1 trade off. Roger, Iceberg, not where he wants to be. He cliffed himself. The arrow can't reach down, but FNG, thanks to the one point in Caustic Finale, will find that kill. FN's on the run. Warcry, God's strength has worn off. FNG does not get in range. Connect on the Borrower's Strike, but he does Sweet punch him once. And rotation's coming out for Spirit for that one. He went three points in the raid fire. You mean four, yeah. Uh, four points, sorry, in the raid yeah. fire. Uh, in three points, the liquid fire. Yeah, that's. I mean, he's trying to pressure the lane. He's trying to do a lot of spell damage. Whoa. Nice Double break. damage rune. Solo kill Chappy? He doesn't actually have ma Okay, now he's got mana for a leap. He'll take the stun. Is he needs bash? to get away oh though. The storm bomb. Oh! He leaves up. He'll still take the stun, however. Iceberg trying the to make a break. coming out from Empire right now. They look to be seizing an opportunity. Jakiro is yeah, not there either. Charging forward. There is an Observ Ward up on the hillside. So they see Ghostic moving over. They initiate on the Mirana. Phobos in the middle of this. Wants to keep up the Quill Sprays. Or maybe not the Storm Bolt. Mirana is already down. Team Spirit are bailing out this fight. Ice Path will actually hold back FN. Macro Pyre available as well. They'll fight with the Epicenter and the Macro Pyre. Laposhka drops down low, but the damage is already done. Team Spirit have lost three. They'll lose four. And more than likely, they'll lose the whole enchilada. Laposhka is running away from Phobos. He's the tankier one, but charging again. Roger wants another piece of the action. There's nine cool spray stacks on Chappie, but it's still enough. Inside that coil for longer so the Sven can wail on them with the Razor. Yeah. Because Coil, this game is the dream for Razor Sven. Here they come. Fire strike into what's mid. There's nothing Roger can really do about this. This ancient apparition dying. Oh, then again, ancient apparition. Then the ice blast off and hits into Vanskull. So oh AA will die, God. but the Bristleback loses his life. They just go ham in. Iceberg wants to keep running. They have the reveal and the dream coil. It catches SK and Marana. FNG will fall. And Team Spirit. This is. What Empire? Ready and just scanned, and they know at least somebody is up there. And that's why the Vortex went out. Uh, they're pretty durable already, though, on the side of him. Good obs. Great pick off target. Oh, it's a double. It is. They don't even hit him in yeah. the front. Okay, now I've <laughs> <laughs> But he is stunned forever under that coil and Kofia. Now Agonyx is going to be brought out for the puck. Oh. Chappie charging toward the. Shakiro. And Rogers Vlad is, is already online. So Aegis Immortal, Chappie's moving forward for it. He'll drop his Hyperstone. And Lost. close, there goes your Stormbolt. Static Link already being used, but they force staff it away. That Micro Pyre Ice Path is doing work. Razor as well as FN is dropping. Razor, the Aegis Immortal will burn, but FN protected by his BKB, attacking into the back of the Bristle. Not what they wanted to do in the epicenter. Forward, catching Roger. He wants to get away from this one, but the Ice Path is holding him there. So Roger will end up falling, leaves the Gem of Truce right behind, and they'll get a Constellation Prize as well. It's the Ancient Apparition. So, Aegis Immortal, Chappie's still holding on to the cheese. He'll switch it, grab the Aegis. So he actually will have that reduced cooldown on his dodge. But for now, just throw the Warcry on to Chappie. Chappie in the front line, he's oh, ready to go. FN starts on the tower, the bar strike forward, and BKB protected him. Not to mention the Lincoln Spear 2, Lion gets seven. You've still got the Spirit Breaker causing issues with his own BKB, but Macro Pyre, maybe they want to back up. God has got a little bit longer left. FNG coming out to try and fight. They know they can't just let him retreat once more, but that's now an SK down. No buyback for him. Phobos needs the cool spray stacks up. The Storm Bolt will be returned, but Lincoln protects on all fronts. Ice Path is nice, but Team Spirit just doesn't have the manpower, doesn't have the strength available. They will lose their entire lineup, and they will lose game two. Almost definite, even with these buybacks coming out. The stuns can keep pouncing around. The Lincolns will continue to protect. The melee racks will fall. Chappie commu actually consumes the cheese. And they're looking for the kill. If they can bring Phobos down, he will go down. You can buy back on him. But if he does so, there's not enough money for a damage dealing item. And now God's future. Is back up because he used it initially with an arcane rune. Oh boy. So now it looks like this will be it. Mega Crypt's going to be claimed.
still no fortification. They did all of this in the one window when fortification was down. Yeah, it was a big mistake to use Glyph there earlier by Team Spirit, but it was also Empire just taking the charge and going in on it. So Spirit was just feeling desperate. You know, they, this Empire draft was very strong and they hit the timings. time and okay FNG Barris tried to connect this should be the first blood he's gonna all but cannot join now come from above come from below bunch of plague wars TP supports on the way it's gonna be the storm spirit Laguna play Chappie tanks through a lot thanks to that plague ward which is slowing down FNG he can't reduce the distance iceberg kill to FN that's oh. a big thing they went for the kill they lost two heroes putting plague wards inside the tree line however that causes a lot more problems for team spirit they can't just stand close and Ghostic rotates down. Golden Spirit jumping in a long way. He's got the extra help because the Puck Dream Call held them in. Ice Blast looking really good. Hits on Iceberg. He's not low enough, but with the Nova hitting on three. Vensko will let the ulti go. FN jumps up, but with the Spirit, he'll get the double kill. One more attack to Iceberg. Oh my god. Oh, he doesn't shatter. He'll live. May not say the same thing about Sting King, but it's all about Troll Warlord. Running forward, chasing after Maposhka. Gozik's back, but so is FN. Triple kill. Stars is done. Laguna Blade as well as Slave. He could have actually stunned him. Sentry Ward's placed down. BKB did they, finished on Spirit. On did the they troll. smoke in range of that ops? Team I Spirit didn't are catch. all smoked up around Roshan. There's a Plague Ward from Chappie sitting inside the pit. So even if they wanted to slip into Roshan and take it. Roger's coming, Echo Slam, Phobos hits the money load with the double light strike array. Woo! FNG will get the kill. Storm Spirit goes in deep, triggers the BKB. So does BZZ. Buybacks are available. But that is what Team Spirit was desperately wanting. Sven will buy back, so will the Venomancer. And Team Spirit, that... but he didn't do so. Roshan's almost gone down. They did get rid of the Observe Ward thanks to the two sentries planted down by Team Spirit. But Roshan, it goes the way of Team Empire and Storm in. quickly goes for the fight. Looking for the Crystal Maiden, she's dead so quickly. Phobos realized the BKB. Oh, oh, a big jump onto Phobos. That's a huge jump, but he's got the mana supporter. But then again, you've got the Sun Ice Blast. He blinks away in time. Storm has to jump further forward. The BKB protecting him from Iceboat, but the BKB wears off in one second. Now, a quick jump, dodges Light Strike Array, supports come back with the double bar strike from FNG, Chappie as well as Maposhka, they can't commit their big ultimates back, Maposhka gets deleted by Laguna Blade, they'll finally find Phobos, Earthshaker will go down, FN, 20 Bloodstone Ooh. charges, there was no denial possible, Crystal Maiden will fall as well. They have to Team get big Echo Slams on the back lines. They have it, they see Maposhka, that one Observer Ward, which is to the south, Sees him perfectly. FNG is the epicenter with a four staff. He can get him pretty damn deep. And then he gets hit by a Plague Ward. But Laguna Blade kills off the Ancient Apparition without that ultimate. They may not want to do it, but SK being dragged back in. The boards are actually killing off the Courier. FNG will die as well. FN of the Cover Zone BKB gets back out again. Iceberg separated from the rest of his team by the Fissure. Sven wants to do damage. He can't do enough just yet, but the Dream Call holds them all in. FN back into the fight. The Troll Warlord, he has some extra help. The Fissure is perfect. Storm Spirit will die. He cannot deny himself. Ghostic is retreating. Meanwhile, Chappie was able to kill off Phobos and Ghostix going back Their in again. The biggest cooldown they have is no Venom. Off. It's 100 seconds. Not without being harassed by these level 4 Plague Wards. But he needs to have teammates, two of which just got scanned on the bottom lane. FNG and Vanscore. And then Dyer also scan. Everyone knows that everyone is there. They'll jump forward. The Barra Strike got to the Sven. Venomancer's there. But then FN. Long jump in. Iceberg protected by his own BKB. The Vortex control Warlord. He actually blinked and got himself stuck in the trees. He can't get back out again. Echo Slam will shut down the puck. Ice Blast will connect onto Iceberg. The Troll Warlord. Oh now God. he can finally get back out again. Pushed away. Sad trombone. You bet you Nelly. Troll Warlord. He couldn't do anything. The smidge tree area he blinked into becomes a disaster. Yeah, he just Did bought he a full Eye of Scotty for that engagement. Yep. He went all in for that. 
And he took the, he's level 25, so he took the 25, or the 20% magic. Chappy. <laughs> Hurricane Pike avoids FNG. He's still got the cheese, that's why he's being so aggressive. And with these bloody plague wards, they can just slowly, I say slowly, they do quite a fair chunk of damage, but they can just siege up. Laguna Blade, nice double bar strike, catching two. Phobos will capitalize, Ice Blast connecting on both of the heroes. That's so much damage, the Gale will connect. You've just lost your SK, and FN keeps the pressure up. A quick Yor Scepter up and towards the air, Earthshaker. Cold feet is still backing up. The plague was oh the dream call. It catches Van score and Iceberg. He's stuck. He has to stay here. Even with the BKB, Phobos trying to lend a little bit more help, but the Nova is out. The storm ball. Sven is there. Team Spirit. They're all down. Troll will come back. But it all started with an unfortunate blink into the tree line, and it's now escalated to four heroes down with no this buyback and Troll looking at his her horrible situation. It's four megas here. Yeah, it is. It's going to be. It could even just be the game. Oh my goodness. The Plague Wards are everywhere, taking out buildings. BZZ. Like, he can't even range your ass. Like, he throws a couple of axes, but it's like throwing feathers. He's alone. They can turn off. If he gets just grabbed up, he can just die. I mean, they're focusing more on buildings, but... As they should be, and yeah, it's Megas, and that's pretty much a good game. They're actually going to jump in and commit. They get the Vortex on him as well. He's got the magic. He's got no buyback. Oh, he should just get brought down from this. Oh, boy. BKB used for protection. Van Skull lets the ult to go. FN trying to get close enough, and they're able to. The Dream Call cancels the ultimate. Sand King can let the Epicenter go, but all he can end up doing is just putting up a small sandstorm inside of his own face, and they're killing him under the fountain. GG, well played. Three Team zero. Empire. 3-0 it out, and they will represent the CIS region alongside the directly invited Virtus Pro at the upcoming International.